welcome. Welcome to Arabic story. So today we're going to be reading together an Arabic story and understanding it. And I just want to make sure that you can hear me, guys. Hello, Michaelson from Pakistan. كيف حالكم? How are you? Okay, so we're basically live on YouTube and Facebook. It's the first time that I try going live on both platforms, but I hope that it works. <laughs> so today we're going to be reading an Arabic story together. Uh, actually, we're going to be reading... Um, can you hear me well? So we're going to be reading actually... Um, half of the story this time and next time we're gonna be continuing the second part or the second half of the story okay so let's start with the first page of the story the name of the story is Hikayat al Baluna al Khadra anybody knows the, the meaning of this title Hikayat al Baluna al Khadra what does it mean any idea What is the meaning of balona? So balona is basically balloon and khadra is a color. Akhdar, you know the color al akhdar, al lawn al akhdar, green. So it's the story, hikaya is a story or qissa. Story is qissa or hikaya. So hikayat al balona al khadra is the story of the green balloon. So let's start reading now. So, اشترى اشترى الأب ثلاث بالونات لأولاده الثلاثة. So, اشترى he bought in the past الأب the father or the dad ثلاث بالونات three balloons لأولاده الثلاثة. So the the father bought three balloons for his three children. بالونة خضراء one green balloon. لعمر for عمر وبالونة صفراء لسعاد and a yellow balloon for سعاد وبالونة حمراء لأمل and a red balloon for أمل So, is it clear till now? So, any new vocabulary for you? I think you know the colors green, أخضر, أصفر When we are describing a green balloon we say بالونة خضراء بالونة صفراء coming from أصفر Balona Hamra coming from the color Ahmar. Okay, let's go to the second page now. I think the first page was clear and easy. I hope. <laughs> okay. So um Fariha al Atfal Athalatha the three children al Atfal Athalatha. Remember the number Thalatha is three, okay? I also wish that you know the numbers and remember the numbers. فرح الأطفال الثلاثة فرح الأطفال الثلاثة بهدية أبيهم. The children, the three children, were happy with the gift of their dad. وشكروه and they thanked him عليها. They thanked him for this gift. وظلوا يلعبون طوال النهار and they stayed playing. ظلوا يلعبون يلعبون is in the present tense. For them, يلعبون طوال النهار The whole morning نهار is morning So they stayed playing with the balloons طوال النهار وهم فرحون ومسرورون And they are happy and glad, you know فرحون مسرورون It's similar, similar meanings, okay? Okay, let's go to the second page Okay Third page, actually. Yeah, it's the third page. Is it clear till now? Any questions? I'm checking the comments if anybody has any questions. Wa alaikum salam, Atif. Okay. Um, so. So now let's go to the third page. Can you see the third page? I hope that the font of the story is clear for you guys. Can you see the font? I hope that the font is clear. Okay. 
Now, um, going for the third page. Arada Omar. Omar is one of the children. Arada, he wanted. Coming from Yuridu. Arada, Yuridu. So, Arada Omar an yalab wahdahu. Omar wanted to play alone. Yalab wahdahu. Wahdahu is alone for male, singular. Wahdahu. Wahdaha if it's a female. Arada Omar an yalab wahdahu bil balunat with the balloons. So, Omar wanted to play alone with the balloons. Arada Omar an yalab wahdahu bil balunat athalath, the three balloons. Fastaykada, so he woke up mubakiran early. Watasallala. Tasallala is, you know, to walk without making any noise, without making any sound, you know, secretly. Tasallala hatta wasala ila albalunat. So he walked secretly until he reached the balloons. Waakhadaha, and he took them. Wadallayalabbiha wahdahu, and he stayed playing with them alone. Okay, after that, let's read the fourth page now. Any questions till now? Is the vocabulary clear? Can you understand the vocabs? Okay, going on to the fourth page. So, the fourth page. Thumma, after that, ثم قرر he took the decision قرر عمر أن يخفي بلونة سعاد يخفي is to hide so he decided that he's gonna hide بلونة سعاد وبلونة أمل he's gonna hide the balloon of سعاد and أمل his two sisters بلونة سعاد وبلونة أمل حتى until or so that حتى يلعب وحده ببلونته so that he can play alone with his balloon. حتى يلعب وحده ببالونته with his balloon. فصعد so he went up فوق الشجرة above the tree وربط البالونتين and he tied the two balloons الصفراء والحمراء في غصن مرتفع. So he tied the yellow balloon and the red balloon في غصن um, مرتفع. In the tree, مرتفع is in a high place in the tree. غصن is a branch of the tree. So in a high branch of the tree. So he tied the two balloons, الصفراء والحمراء, which are his sister's balloons. And why did he do this? To decide, because he decided that he's going to play alone with his own balloon. So do you want guys to continue the story or shall we stop here? Let's see. Do you want to continue or shall we stop here? <laughs> and any questions? Do you have any questions? Is, uh, is the story clear? Alex, walaikum salam, Alex. Okay. So I'm going to try to continue the story. Let's go for page five. Now for page five, I have to add the picture of it. Okay, ask your questions down below until I put the fifth page. So, still have three more pages to go. Okay. Welcome to the newcomers. Ahlan wa sahlan. We are reading a story today. And I was waiting for your questions, actually. So, yeah.
What is page in Arabic? We reached page 4. لقد وصلنا إلى الصفحة الرابعة. Page 4. الصفحة الرابعة. صفحة is page. Okay. Who has attended my previous lives on YouTube? I used to go live a lot on YouTube before. Anybody attended my previous lives? And what do you think about reading a story live? Is it better than um, the vocabulary lives? Or having a vocabulary live is better? You think the story live is hard for you? Or can you catch up? Tell me in the comments. I would like to know. Because, yeah, I'm planning to go live more often, inshallah. Omar, walaikum assalam. Yes, this is MSA. Yes. Gulizar, <laughs> welcome. Thomas, Afwan Thomas. Muhammad Jabi, walaikum assalam. Okay, um, we're live on Facebook and YouTube, guys. On Facebook, we have uh, Billa, Billa Abbasi, welcome. Okay, so, okay, let's continue the story now. So, we we reached page four. Now, let's continue. So, I added the pictures of the other pages. I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to the platforms of using Facebook and, you know, YouTube Live at the same time. So, I'm sorry if there is any lag or something. So let's continue now. We reached page uh, four. Now we're going to go Safha al Khamisa, the fifth page. So yeah, we reached that Omar. Mada Hadath, what happened? Omar decided that he's going to play alone with, the, with his balloon and he tied his sister's balloon on the tree, in the highest branch in the tree. Now, Bada Omar Yanzil. Bada to start. He started, Omar started. بدأ عمر ينزل to go down the tree فاستدمت رجله بغصن رفيع his leg استدمت is to get hit into something فاستدمت coming from استدم استدمت رجله his leg بغصن رفيع with a very you know uh, thin رفيع is thin with, with a very thin branch غصن is branch okay فَانْكَسَرَ الْغُسْن So the غُسْن got broken. انْكَسَرَ is to get broken. وَسَقَطَ عَلَى الْبَلُونَ الْخَضْرَ سَقَطَ He fell على on Remember Did anybody uh, watch my place prepositions YouTube video? I have all the place prepositions على وفي وبجانب and all of these you know place prepositions on and under and next to you know so سقط على on البالونة الخضراء on the green balloon and I'm gonna be linking by the way the prepositions of place video in the description after I finish the video إن شاء الله so سقط على البالو البالونة الخضراء he fell on the green balloon which is his balloon actually فانفجرت it um infajarat is to you know blast or to you know yeah the, the balloon went off you know what is it infajarat infajara it's like um how can i say i forgot it in english actually what's infajarat guys yeah somebody's saying uh the story is better Alex is saying you speak very well English. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not a native English speaker, but I try my best. I'm a native Arabic speaker, actually. So, um, okay. Infajara. Guys, what is infajara in English? Anybody knows? I forgot the word. <laughs> yes. Burst, yeah, burst. That's what I wanted to say. Burst. I said blast. It's burst. So the balloon burst, and um, also infijar is like you know infijar. If there's an infijar, it's like if there's a a burst happening when there is a bomb, for example, infajarat al. Uh, I don't know the bomb, you know, 
انفجرت so we say like there is a burst okay or a blast I guess you can tell me in the comments so anyway so the balloon burst وأحدثت صوتا مرتفعا أحدثت صوتا مرتفعا it means that it made a very high sound okay it made a very high sound okay so let's go to the sixth page next page الصفحة السادسة okay سمع أفراد الأسرة سمع they heard سمع أفراد الأسرة the family members أفراد الأسرة is family members أسرة is family and أفراد is members the singular of أفراد is فرد okay صوت الفرقعة the burst sound صوت الفرقعة فرقعة is the burst or the blast of the balloon فحضروا they came وعرفوا قصة ما حدث and they knew the story of what happened عرفوا they knew قصة the story I told you قصة or حكاية means a story قصة ما حدث فعاقب الأب عاقب is coming from يعاقب عاقب يعاقب it is to punish someone so the punishment itself is called عقاب let's write it together by the way so um, over here عقاب so عقاب is punishment this is another vocabulary maybe you don't know it probably so punishment punishment is عقاب so عاقب okay عاقب I will make it maybe a bit smaller so that you can see it maybe is it very big okay uh, I will make it a bit smaller guys one minute okay okay so now I will make it a bit smaller so that you can see it okay can you guys hear me well can you hear me well okay so I'm gonna make it smaller so that maybe you can see it now can you see it better can you see it better okay عقاب punishment so فعاقب الأب عمر so the father punished عمر the child بحرمانه من المصروف what does it mean حرمانه من المصروف حرمان is to is to let someone not have something and this person when we describe them we call he is mahroom mahroom is when you for example mahroom min at-ta'am ta'am is food so he's not allowed to eat mahroom min al-sharab he's not allowed to drink okay so hirman is i think in english deprive right to deprive to let someone uh, yeah, forbid someone. Yahrim is to forbid someone. So mahroom is the one who's forbidden out of something. Mahroom min al ta'am, he's not allowed to eat. Mahroom min al sharab, not allowed to drink. Serhat, welcome. Uh, okay, so mahroom, it means he's not allowed to, um, he's not allowed to do something. So mahroom min al masroof. Or here we said, بِحِرْمَانِهِ بِحِرْمَانِهِ So he, for, he's, he's forbidding him or depriving him men from al-masroof. Masroof is the... What is masroof? Guys, what is masroof? Anybody is taking masroof from their parents? What is masroof? <laughs> masroof... Is it the pocket money? Do you call it pocket money? The money that you take from your mom, from your dad. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> okay, what is masroof, guys? Pocket money, right, is it pocket money? Pocket money. Let's check it. So pocket money 
is the money that you take from your mom or dad and we call it masruf in arabic which is the money that you take from your mom and dad okay so um hermanihi min al masruf he's not going to take masruf he's forbidden limuddat for limuddat yawmain mudda is a certain uh, period of time limuddat yawmain is for two days yawmain yawm is one day yawmain is two days wa wa amrihi wa amrihi he um he told him or he gave him he ordered him amr remember fa'al al-amr fa'al al-amr there is a lesson about the um the verbs where you are telling someone imperative imperative verbs when you're telling orders to somebody ordering someone so wa amrihi an yahdir al-balunatayn من فوق الشجرة. So he ordered him أن يحضر to get يحضر is to get البالونتين the two balloons لأختيه for his sisters من فوق الشجرة from the top of the tree فوق الشجرة is the top of the tree Okay by, by the way is the font clear or is it very small Can you tell me guys in the comments for the next live so that I can know. Okay. I think your comments come a bit late, but it's okay. I'm reading them as well. Okay, so um now let's go to the last page. The last page. The last page of the story now. And then I'm going to take questions if you have any questions in the end, okay? So, last page of the story, finally. وَبَعْدَ فَتْرَ After some time. فَتْرَ is some time. وَبَعْدَ فَتْرَ طَلَبَتْ سُعَاد وَأَمَلْ طَلَبَتْ To ask. For example, أنا أطلبو. I'm asking from you. أنا أطلبو منكم. I'm asking from you, for example. أن تشاهدو. أن تشاهدو. To... Watch uh, Al-Bath Al-Mubashir Bath Mubashir is live video Okay أنا أطلب منكم أن تشاهدوا Al-Bath Al-Mubashir So I'm asking you to watch uh, the live video So بعد فترة طلبت طلبت سعاد وأمل Who asked? سعاد وأمل His sisters These are their names من أبيهما From his From their Actually from their dad من أبيهما أن يسامح عمر to forgive عمر يسامح is to forgive so عقاب is punishment now to forgive is يسامح okay so أن يسامح عمر their brother عمر ويسمح يسمح له to allow him يسمح is to allow okay يسمح له ويسمح له باللعب معهما to allow him to play with them فوافق الأب وافق is to agree so the dad agreed فوافق الأب ومنذ ذلك اليوم and since then from that day since that day منذ ذلك اليوم since that day لم يعد عمر أنانيا what is أنانيا عمر عمر did not become أناني anymore what is أناني let's write it Anani. Anani. I'm going to write it here in Arabic. And the Anani. What is Anani? Anybody knows what is Anani? When I'm saying that you are Anani. Okay, I'm going to explain it in Arabic. Maybe you can understand what I'm saying. Anta, for example, you, Anta, Anani. Anta, Fakat. تفكر في نفسك You only think about yourself So what does it mean أناني؟ أنت أناني أنت فقط تفكر في نفسك You only think about yourself So what does it mean when I say that? What does it mean when I say أناني؟ أنت أناني أنت فقط تفكر في نفسك You only think about yourself Exactly, said hot ممتاز, excellent Selfish, so selfish Let's write it Selfish. Okay, can you see it? So, ومنذ ذلك اليوم 
Since that day, لم يعد عمر أنانيا. عمر did not become أناني or أنانيا. أنانيا. We just add here the ألف to put the two فتحات تنوين. So we just add an ألف. But the original word is أناني. And for the girl, أنانية. We add the تاء مربوطة. Remember, for female, we add the تاء مربوطة. So if it's a girl, we will say أنت أنانية. If it's a boy, I'm gonna say أنت أناني. So, لم يعد لم يعد عمر أنانيا وأصبح يحب. He became, he started أصبح he started to love يحب للجميع for everyone ما يحبه لنفسه. So he started to love for everyone what he loves for for himself. من الخير there is a word here missing الخير من الخير after here we have خير after من. Uh, it's not in the photo, but it's in the story. So, وأصبح يحب للجميع ما يحبه لنفسه من الخير. So he he started to love for everyone what he loves for himself. ما يحبه لنفسه من الخير. From good stuff. خير is good good things. You know, we say صباح الخير, good morning. Okay, مساء الخير, good evening. So خير is good, something good. Okay. So this was the end of the story and. Yeah, it's just a story talking about how to love for people what you love for yourself and how the small boy, Omar, he uh, he wanted to play alone and then what happened to him, you know? So, yeah, I hope you like the story. It's a very small story, short story, very easy words, I think. And if you didn't know Iqab and Anani, then you know them now. And tell me if there are other words that you don't know in the comments. Either now or after I finish the live, you can add in the comments down below and I will answer inshallah. And now I'm going to give one minute for you guys to ask if you have any questions, I'm going to answer them and then we're going to end the live. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate and ask me down below. I'm waiting. Thank you, Jonathan. Afwan Chaudhry, Fayaz, Afwan. <laughs> Okay, guys. So if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I'm going to be answering them, inshallah. And thank you for joining today's live. And inshallah, I'm going to be uh, telling you on Instagram, Arabic underscore underscore lessons before the next live, inshallah. So please follow me there and on Facebook as well. So Arabic underscore underscore lessons. I'm going to be writing them in the comments as well on Instagram so please follow me on Instagram I will tell you before I am live inshallah next time on Instagram so follow me there and on Facebook as well and see you soon Arakum Kariban Ma'as Salama